Check this out. Scientists just grew a material using bacteria that can outperform some metals. This is Novacetamonas hanseni. It naturally produces ultra-pure, ultra-strong cellulose fibers, a natural plastic replacement. But left on their own, these bacteria spin fibers in random tangled blobs, basically a microbial Jackson Pollock. This messy 3D web limits the strength and makes scaling up or turning it into anything useful particularly difficult. In order to tame these tiny technicians, researchers at Rice University and the University of Houston developed a spinning bioreactor with a central shaft that rotates, creating a fluid flow to guide the bacteria into alignment and help them lay down neat parallel cellulose fibers, basically a bacterial industrial revolution. The material's tensile strength jumped 137%, hitting 436 megapascals, which is over 15 times stronger than the plastic used in plastic bags. And unlike plastic, it's fully biodegradable. But it also has properties that plastic can only dream of. By adding boron nitride, a nanosheet-like material similar in structure to graphene, the researchers created a hybrid material with the thermal conductivity and tensile strength better than some metals. This could make it an ideal candidate for temporary or single-use electronics in medical or environmental monitoring. Or, as bacterial cellulose is biocompatible, implant scaffolds made of this material could help support load-bearing tissue regeneration, helping the body heal before eventually being broken down. So far, this is only a prototype and produces about 7.5 milligrams per day, enough for the world's tiniest plastic bag, which means that unless you're packing lunch for a bacterium, production still needs a significant amount of scaling up. At least three times bigger than this. If you like science and want to see bacteria, engineer our way out of a plastic bag. Follow for more.